Good morning. So I'm making this for the Christmas weekend. I was doing it for Christmas Day, but in the end, change tack. So venison with pork, Guinness and pickled walnuts. There's a couple of issues with this. I couldn't find any pickled walnuts and I didn't want to buy a whole bottle of pork because I really don't drink a lot of it. So we're having the venison. We've got the Guinness. We've got all the onions and the butter, the olive, the flour, the, all the other bits that go with it. So it's a slight variation on the venison dish. So in front of me, I have the venison, two little stucks of venison. And you know, amazing, four euros, 87. That is pretty cool, isn't it? And then I've got the celery heart, which I was telling you about the other day. So I'm going to wash all that through, put salt on it, olive oil, black pepper, and roast it in the oven. At the same time with the parsnip, one potato is not a potato girl. Got my shallots to chop up. Oh, just lost a mushroom there. Some little tiny mushrooms. And then for the side bits are going to be a Brussels sprout dish as well. So there we are, going to get all that started. Join with me and let's make venison without pork, but Guinness and no pickled walnuts from the Delia Smith Christmas cookbook. I get Guinness because I'm not a great Guinness girl. So it's a dark ale beer. And then you pour this. Oh, that sounds nice. And let it marinate all round the venison and leave that as long as you can. Now you could always try it. As I say, I'm not a great beer girl, but I am going to give it a go. There's no recommendations. It's called Grand Prestige Hertog. I have no idea. There we are. Let's see. Mmm, that is quite smooth. It wouldn't have been my first choice to drink, but I did do a beer tasting a few weeks ago and it was really quite interesting. There was beers that I'd looked at and never chosen. I'm not a great beer drinker, but occasionally. Mmm, so I think that's going to taste really lovely on the venison when it's been soaking in there for a while. Okay. So next job is to get the oven on, get that warming up, and I'm going to prepare my celery heart. Now you've got to wash your celery heart out, get all that of the dirt inside the little areas there, and just rub it all around. And once you've washed it all over, perfect, just got to dry it. So next is to add the olive oil to your celery heart. Rub it all in, massage it, just like you're going to do on the beach, hopefully on our lovely holidays this coming year, this next year. So imagine you're on the beach, putting suntan oil on you, giving it a little massage. And then we're going to rub that in salt and black pepper and pop it in our dish ready to go with the parsnips. Now that's the sound we're looking for. So I'm just gonna place a few little pieces of the venison at a time. So you've added your mushrooms, you've added your shallots, just let it cook away. You want them really soft. So it could be, depending on how much you've got in there, I haven't got that much, probably up to 10 minutes by the time they're soft and soaked in with all that lovely butter. And they're just going to cook away. Let's add the venison back in. Ooh, lovely sound. This is looking fabulous, I have to say. So, a spoonful of flour. And 
and just soak that in, get that in all that lovely liquid. I think there's a little bit more liquid to come out of there. There we are. We don't want to waste any. Now, once all that flour's mixed in, you can add back the beautiful marinated ale, Guinness, add it in just a little bit so it's going to get any of the rest of that flour up and it will fizz up a little bit, look at this, oh I bet you could just drink that now, it would taste so lovely, mm. but we're not. <laughs> I'm just going to add the remainder of that and there's all our liquid now it looks a lot of liquid but trust me that will soon cook down and become a very rich lovely sauce so now we need to get this back in here And all those lovely juices, don't lose any. Wonderful. So there we are. That is ready to go, slow oven, just abandoned. Well, here is the finished venison casserole with Brussels sprouts lovely venison stew the celery um head of celery and roast potatoes only two of little ones and some parsnips and that's what i'm having for my dinner this evening